All right, my loves. So this is actually the same day as the video that you will have seen a few days ago, which is like a get ready with me. I will link it if you haven't seen it. But this evening, I thought I would get unready with you. I have something in my eye. I've got this really good start. It's that time of the day where my makeup is just like crumbling into my face and I really want to go to bed. So I'm going to take my makeup off my face. I've got a face mask that I want to use and talk to you about. Not much has happened today. Uh, cooked some food. Did a TikTok video, two, three TikTok videos. Me and Ryan filmed a TikTok video, which should be up by now. So if you haven't seen that, I will link my TikTok below because I, it just made me lol. Yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off now, which I'm, I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'm so excited to do. But yeah, we're back in my bathroom again. So I feel like this should be a series, like in the bathroom. Wait, I feel like Vogue coined that. I don't know, I'm gonna steal it because we're back in my bathroom again today. So yeah, I'm gonna steal that one. I might make a little playlist on my channel that's like in the bathroom because I love filming videos in my bathroom. One of my favorite things about living in this flat, there are very few things left that are my favorite things about living in this flat because the situation is dire. However, this bathroom is one of my favorites. I just really like like this kind of setup. I'm actually gonna bring you a bit more into this setup. But yeah, I really, I just really love this bathroom. It's a great bathroom. So, face halo. This has got a couple more uses in it before I put it in the wash, but it's still looking pretty clean. And then I'm gonna cleanse. So, I've got two cleansers that I use. By the way, if you haven't watched my skincare routine from like October, I'll link that in case you wanna see what I was using compared to what I'm using now. Some things are very, very much the same, like my cleanser, but uh, not everything. So, I will link it in case you just wanna like get really, really on the skincare hype because I understand. To start with, I take a couple of pumps of the Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing arm. Uh, it's running everywhere all over my hands, so let's do this quick. And I literally just massage that into my skin. I'm gonna put my hair up in a minute, I didn't, and I'm gonna regret it. Just before anyone labels me a psychopath for not putting it up, because uh, there are three identifications for a psychopath in the beauty world. Number one, it's not putting your hair up when uh, you're taking your makeup off. Number two is not putting your hair up when you're in the gym. I also do this occasionally and regret it, so hopefully not a psychopath. Uh, and number three is not leaving your conditioner to set in your hair whilst you're washing your body in the shower. Those are the three beauty identifications for a psychopath. Uh, I'm obviously kidding, <laughs> just before anyone jumps down my throat. So once I've massaged that into my skin, I am then just running the remainder of the oil that is on my hands over my eyes. Yeah, there we go. Ugh, I'm so pretty before that. I'm just gonna use a little bit extra actually because um, I was wearing quite a lot of eye makeup today. I don't really rub too much. I just kind of hold my oily little fingers over my eye makeup and it just tends to crumble up. And then I don't really move all of my like eye makeup around my face too much more after that. I kind of just leave it there. There's no need to like continue rubbing. I did all of the massaging when I first started to take my makeup off. So yeah, I'm just using my face halo to take my makeup off now. I love face halos. They work a bit like cotton pads. You can actually use them without any product if you want to. I find my makeup is a little too heavy for that, just for my personal preference. There's a bit too much like rubbing necessary, but it's just such a great one for if you are just like wearing a tiny bit of like brow product or mascara, you just don't need to use like micellar water. So yeah, if you wear very, very light makeup, it could be a great one. Although I'm a big advocate of double cleansing, even triple cleansing, depending on how many layers of makeup you've got on. So I am in two minds about it, but I do just think it's such a great product. I think they're amazing for taking off makeup. So much better than flannels, I find. I think they're just a lot more gentle on my skin and more effective at removing the makeup. So when I use my usual cleanser and this, it's like twice as fast as a flannel. So as much as I am a lover of a flannel, this is just so much better in my opinion. So yeah, that is my first kind of cleanse done. I'm gonna put something around my hairline right now. So the hair is up. I'm gonna do my second cleanse using the Ostia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. This is the extra large size. And if I were wearing SPF, and the amount of makeup that I put on this morning. I'd probably do a triple cleanse, but I didn't put SPF on today because I did not leave the house. So that's kind of good for my skin. It just means I don't have to do a third cleanse. I don't always do a third cleanse if I'm wearing SPF, but it's the SPF and the sheer amount of makeup that I had on my face. If I've got lighter off-camera makeup, I don't worry so much. There was a lot of product on my face. Um, and then the SPF is obviously so intense and so like it really sticks to your skin so yeah this just breaks down any 
last bits of product clinging to my face it also just takes that last like tiny bit of eye makeup off and again i'm just removing that with my face hello and i always really notice after this that last layer really like comes off and i always make sure i really work at making sure there's no product left in my hairline and around my ears because it's always where i tend to get spots i think it's an area that i miss a lot so i'm making a lot of effort at the moment to make sure the most frequent spot areas are not missed got a huge spot on my head tonight it's really painful i uh, tried to squeeze it last night and i was bad at it so yeah welcome to my life so now my skin has been thoroughly cleansed i'm gonna do a little quick mask i'm gonna be using the Oscia liquid lactic acid mask and i find this is really good for helping with my scarring and my blemishes so i have a few more blemishes than i would normally have to be honest as i get older they're just scarring worse so i've actually only got two like really active big spots that they scar really badly and they stick around for a lot longer than they used to when I was like in my very early 20s they just healed and it was glorious they don't do that anymore but I did switch pills and I think I talked about this in my get ready with me but it does kind of wreak havoc on your skin for the first like 18 months after you switch I'm about nine months into switching so it's got so much better at first I was like I just had like really bumpy skin like my whole skin was just like bumps and then big spots and it was just not great now my skin is much better so so much happier i'm really trying to nail my diet at the moment in terms of excessive sugar consumption and just more veggies and i don't know just better sources of protein oh how is this thing in and it's definitely doing me a lot of good just the overall condition of my skin looks so much better there are just still a few like annoying breakouts that kind of peep through and i feel like every time i get somewhere with clearing up the scarring a new one pops through so i'm really just trying to nail my diet at the moment because i know that that will kind of just help to balance things out a little bit better it won't you know solve everything magically but i do think diet has a lot to do with how my skin then reacts when the hormone levels change i've got this feeling I've just got a gut feeling that I just need to look after my gut a bit better, funnily enough. But yeah, so I'm just using products at the moment that are helping to improve the overall condition of my skin. So to tackle my blemishes, kind of get them under control. I've been using vitamin C in the morning. I don't bother using it in the evening, uh, but it really helps to improve like the glow and the texture my skin has. Obviously being really, really good with my cleansing, making sure that my skin isn't congested by what I've been wearing throughout the day. I try not to leave my makeup on too late. I obviously did today and I know I will suffer for that tomorrow but normally i like to try and take my makeup off around six o'clock in the evening or even earlier if i can like as soon as i stop working the makeup comes off and the less time i wear makeup for the better condition my skin is in the less like blackheads i end up getting to be honest and i've also been trying to not work out with makeup on as well where possible sometimes if you've got like a jam-packed day you can't get to the gym after work and you have to do it in your lunch break you know you just can't get around that and i do understand that there are so many of us out there that would just rather get the exercise in and be feeling healthier than just not working out because you've got some product on your skin i really do get that where possible i'm trying to take my makeup off when i work out because i just think it's better i get way less blemishes when i do that so i'm already seeing an improvement by just doing a few little tweaks and i'm excited to see the difference in my skin over the next like three months or so but in the meantime i'm using the oscar liquid mask about two times a week it says two to three but i think three is just a bit too much for my skin if i'm honest but i've just been taking a small pipette of this put it on my hands over here because it's really hard to prepare stuff when you're filming and you don't have something to put your bottle on but yeah so i rub it between my hands and then just smooth it onto my skin i avoid the eye area because it's very very delicate smooth it over my forehead and then a little bit down my neck as well i need to take this hoodie off it's getting in the way i need my dressing gown so i'm gonna change into my dressing gown whilst i wait for this to set you literally can use it for three minutes you can use it for 10 minutes the instructions are the back of vague to be honest whatever you want i tend to leave it on for less time uh, at the moment just because my skin is getting used to it and my skin is very very sensitive so i like to do everything that i do with skincare in baby steps basically so retinol i've also been using house which you're about in a minute but i introduced that very very gradually as well because i just didn't want my skin to freak out so yeah that is it with the mask on it really like sinks in and then i just take it off with a face halo after the three minutes i'd love to know if anyone does it for the 10 minutes and how you find it i'll probably work up to that one day but not right now so yeah it's not a leave-in product though so you definitely have to take it off or that's that's what it sounds like from the back of the packaging anyway but i would say take it off uh, after three minutes to begin with and see how you go yeah i'm back need my dressing gown and normally what i like to do in the three minutes that i have is uh brush my teeth so 
That is what I'm going to be doing right now. My toothbrush has loads of lipstick marks on it, so please ignore that because it just needs a clean. It looks disgusting. But yeah, I've talked about my toothpaste already, but it's a whitening toothpaste. I'll link it in the info box below. But yeah, it's pink and I love it. So now that's done, I'm just taking the mask off with my face halo once again. And then I think this evening I'm basically going to do a blemish focused skincare routine so sometimes it's all about hydration that's very important to me because i don't drink enough and i definitely haven't stayed to be honest these two spots are just really niggling me and they need to go so i need to give them a little bit of a helping hand so because of that i'm going to have a very blemish focused skincare routine so I call it an anti-blemish routine if you will but that's what i'm focusing on tonight i will talk to you about products that i might use for like a hydrating routine at the end if you guys would be interested in that you can stick around but yeah today definitely blemish related so i have two toners that i use one is glycolic i normally use that in the morning and in the evening i generally like to use my retinol tonic this is the pixie retinol tonic and it's very very gentle i think if you're looking for like an introduction into retinol this is a great one and if you just like an extra hint of retinol in amongst other vitamin a products in your skincare routine like i do this is a great one i think it's a really good all-rounder for lots of different skin types so i just sweep that over my skin avoid my eye area i have got something that i use on my eye area which i'll show you in a second but yeah just sweep that over my skin and i just find it really like just makes everything go like and just makes everything feel a little bit tighter like i don't know it just makes my skin feel really good when i use it of all the pixie toners i've tried that one is my favorite more than the glow tonic for sure so yeah love that and next i'm going to go in with my retinol this is the medicate crystal retinol number three this comes in different strengths one being the lightest so if you are like brand new to retinol and your skin is very 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 sensitive then that one's a great one my skin is quite sensitive and i just started with three it came in i think caroline Hines' winter kit and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna give this a go. And it did work out really, really well for me, but really, really, wow, I'm tired. But I would say that I started using this September, October time, and I literally have only just got up to using it every single day. So that's how slowly I introduced it. I do think it's great. It just makes my skin behave like it did a good like two three years ago and that is quite amazing like my skin had really gotten quite like textured like my forehead was a lot more textured and you can really tell it was from like sun damage and this obviously doesn't like turn actually physically turn back time but it is really really helping in terms of a lot of the wear that has kind of happened to my skin over the past few years because I, I don't know if any of you will know but I never used to wear sun cream on my face and I really feel like it started to take its toll very visibly especially over 2018 I did a lot of traveling and just didn't really use sun cream and it was bad really bad but I just that was 2018 was the year I just really gave no fucks about life to be honest I'm whispering in case your children are in the room any of you at home I'm so sorry but that was the kind of year I was having so yeah this has really really helped to just kind of smooth out my skin like it's way less textured way less red and patchy my forehead is like a shiny little forehead sometimes now which it really wasn't like about a year and a half ago it was in a bad place and the skin did not look good but since i've started using retinol it's been very good so i'm gonna stop gassing on because i feel like this is gonna be a very chatty skincare routine but it's been amazing and i'm not sure of the exact reason why i will maybe put it on the screen but retinol is very very good if you suffer from a lot of blemishes i know a lot of people that get put on very concentrated forms of retinol when they are suffering from like adult acne which i'm obviously nowhere near that even when my skin was at its absolute worst and i would literally wouldn't leave the house over it because it was just bumps 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 bumps, 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 bumps all over it was like scary i think i've mentioned before but for victoria mcgrath in the froze wedding i literally had to use the most heavy coverage foundations i've ever used and layers of concealer because my skin was just like bumpy and i managed to hide it very very well but it was it was not great but i know that i'm nowhere near the level of like adult acne that some of my friends have had so very grateful for that but also from that experience i know that vitamin a or retinol is given in like very high prescription concentrations to people that suffer from it so i know that the medicate is definitely contributing to aiding my blemishes I'm trying to be so careful with my words because you do have to be a bit careful when you talk about skincare nothing's magic but it is really really helping so yeah just love the retinol big fan next i'm going to be using the dr dennis gross eye serum this is the 
Fulic and retinol. I need to learn how to say that word. I realised that this morning. And uh, 12 hours on, nothing has changed. So yeah, just tap that around my eye area and over the lids as well it says you can use it over the lids on the instructions and i do it with my ring finger because it is meant to be a lot gentler than using your other fingers you tend to put less pressure on your eye area which i'm not convinced about to be honest because i'm quite heavy-handed but that's what they say next i'm going to be using a hyaluronic acid serum i use this because hydrated skin does just heal so much quicker normally i would use an oil if i'm suffering from blemishes or just like a little bit of scarring like a light amount i would use my clarins blue orchid facial oil but I'm going to be using my Mario Bandescu drying lotion on my spots. And I do find that if I put a face oil on, it doesn't really like cling to the spot enough and dry it out enough and just doesn't do its best work. So with that in mind, I'm going to be using the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Hydration Booster because it is a little bit lighter. And yeah, I just feel like this is the better product to use and to be honest when I use the Clarence Blue Orchid Facial Oil I normally have this on underneath anyway so I'm basically just skipping a step in favour of that Mario Bandescu drying lotion really like clinging to the spots and really penetrating it and just doing its best work so I've gone through one of these already by the way since I started using it I think back in October and I'm, I'm almost done I'm almost done so I just put half a pipette of that on my hands in the palms and then just massage it into my skin this is a point in addition to when I cleanse where I like to just give my skin a little massage, just kind of stimulates blood flow and just makes everything look a little bit more healthy. I don't know if it actually has any long-term benefits, but just in the moment, feels like I'm doing some good for myself, so yeah. And it just gives a really lovely glow to the skin, it really hydrates so, so well. I'm a big fan of that hyaluronic serum probably my favorite one i've used i think one other thing that i am going to be trialing for my spots and i thought i'd talk about this now because we're talking about skincare is the dr dennis gross light pen and this doesn't have batteries in it at the moment so i can't really like start testing this now but it is definitely something that i want to trial and i will update you on much like with the oskia lactic acid where i've kind of been talking about it over the past few weeks and just showing you updates of my skin both on stories and in the vlogs and just showing you what it did look like and now what it's looking like and as you guys will know if you've seen it before the scarring around here is much better it's just this spot but i like to update you over time on how something is performing and i will be doing that with this so it's basically a pen that you hold over your spot and you click this little button on the back and you hold it there for a certain amount of time i can't remember what it is i need to look on the instructions but uh yeah my brain is dead right now and it's meant to improve your spots so i am very very interested in trying this i want to know if it's worth the hype it's a little bit spenny from what i remember like quite spenny for a light pen that doesn't come with any batteries so i don't know when i will be trialing this if i can get some sooner rather than later i will be trialing it straight away um because i'm just very very interested in seeing how this performs so that is another little like anti-blemish product that i just thought i'd mention in case any of you are interested in that kind of thing but more than anything this is the absolute tits in my skincare routine the mario bendescu drying lotion is just it's helped my skin so much because it kind of stops me picking at spots and actually picking is the wrong word because i don't pick spots i squeeze them and it's very not good for them oh god i'm flicking it everywhere so you take a cotton bud into the product stamp it in a little bit bring it out i always try and play the game of don't touch the sides with the cotton bud and then just dab it around the spot i do quite a large area around the spot just because i think it helps that little bit extra and i'm gonna and do this one up here i can't even the viewfinder is so far from me i can't actually tell where my spot is anymore so i'm doing quite a wide area and there's a spot above as well so i'm just going to do that and then i know i've got one here which is annoyingly under a mole so i really can't touch that and then i've got a few around here but they're fine to be honest those are all dried up they just need a little bit of a scrub i'm pretty sure they'll peel off by tomorrow morning i always find the day after i use the lactic acid after i've washed my face the next morning i just seem to shed a lot of skin cells and um that sounds really serious but i do just find my skin tends to shed a little bit between now and uh tomorrow evening so i might try and go make up free tomorrow we'll see i don't know i've got tiktoks for them <sighs> but anyway i do find that my exfoliation tends to happen not necessarily instantly it takes a little while but tomorrow i will notice like 
much more visible results and I do think that any of the little kind of like surface bumps that are left will just be a lot smoother they might not be gone in terms of like appearance but they will be a lot more smooth okay my uh, camera ran out of memory but we are down to the final two products that I'm going to use for this routine and the first one is just a light tanning mist this is the Oskia adaptive tan mist I love this this just makes me feel a little bit better about the fact that I have spot cream all over my face to be honest so I just mist that all over my face try not to eat it whilst I'm talking and this is one that leaves my skin looking really beautiful and bronzed in the morning. If you want to see kind of what it looks like in the morning, you can go and watch the Get Ready With Me because I had it on my face in the morning and hadn't washed my face or anything when I started filming. So you can kind of see what my skin looks like when I wake up in the morning. And in addition to like obviously doing the overnight tan, it gives this immediate like really beautiful glow to the skin, which I always find just like finishes up the skincare routine really, really nicely and just leaves me feeling like, yeah, skin looks good, even if it's like, doesn't look great you know you know when you're having one of those skin times where you're like oh, god i just really prefer myself with makeup on and now i just have no makeup on and now i just can see all of the things that i hate about my skin that adaptive time it just doesn't make me feel like that it makes me feel like yeah yeah i've got blemishes but it's all right it's all right because i've still got a bit of a glow there's nothing worse than when you just feel like your skin looks lackluster after having done your skincare routine. I really hate that. So I just love using that as the last step because it makes me feel really fucking healthy. And then finally, I'm just adding a bit of my Fenty Beauty Lip Balm, lip gloss. I always want to call it a lip gloss because of the applicator, but it's a lip balm. And it feels amazing on the lips. It smells incredible. I, I'm such a fan, I'm such a fan. And there we have it. That is my skincare routine, my evening skincare routine, my get on ready with me. I was gonna do a whole like long pamper routine, which I might still do at some point, which includes like fake tan and like things I use in the shower to exfoliate. But I think I might do that just in a vlog at some point because I just really didn't feel like putting fake tan on tonight. I just really wanted to like snuggle up with Brian and watch TV. And when I have fake tan on, I'm like, don't touch me because I don't want patches so yeah i'll probably do that again at some point let me know if you would like to see it but i hope you've enjoyed being back in the bathroom with me and i hope you found this kind of like little blemish skincare routine a bit useful in terms of the hydrating skincare routine these are two of my favorite products i thought i would quickly mention so the clarins blue orchid facial oil and then the summer fridays jet lag mask this is very hydrating i love using it overnight it kind of you wake up in the morning and it looks a little bit like you could have had a facial the day before so yeah i really love that and it smells amazing it's just kind of like I don't know what it smells like, little, almost like a little bit pepperminty and it just feels really nice and really cooling and soothing on your face. So it's a really great one for if my skin is both dehydrated and just feeling a little bit like irritable and angry and red, which happens a lot I find during the kind of transitional months but also the winter months when you've got the heating on. So yeah, love these. These are both very, very soothing, very good for sensitive skins, for calming angry skins. These are two of my favourites. So. I uh, just thought I'd mention those. But yeah, that is my anti-blemish routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see more updates on how I get on with everything and if I manage to clear it all up. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you're all having a lovely evening and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Goodbye. Love you, bye.